Hi, mga kasolor. Uh, this is uh, Edwin again. So, we will talk about this new power wall. This is an XD battery, 51.2 volt nominal voltage, 100 AH, 16 cells, brand new cells. Uh, they use uh, CATL uh, prismatic batteries. So, it has uh, the positive negative ports you can connect in parallel so that that's good they did not use only one but two inputs per pole so this has uh, communication ports so eight dip switches can port settings are uh, 485 inputs a reset button LEDs to so you can see uh, how much energy is still stored in the battery and if it's charging as you can see it's a blinking and this is uh, green it means that it's running good there is no problem with the system it is now connected by a circuit breaker uh, this is a 125 ampere DC the positive is connected to the positive side and the black one is connected to the negative side. AC input is now connected and is powered on. I have here my own circuit breaker. So did not anymore connect load. Just to for this is just for information purposes. So the can the LAN cable is connected to the CAN port, also connected to the day uh, communication so this is the load so you it acts like an extension cord you just put uh, extension or your load there and it will power on this is now operational since ac is power on normal is uh, on as you can see if this is on, there's no problem with the system. Right now, it's uh, we are buying because it's charging the battery at 10 amperes. You can see the battery here, battery information. So it's charging. When you see negative, it's charging. It's positive, it's discharging. BMS settings. So it's uh, communicating with this power wall. Okay. So escape. So there's no load and there's no power load because there's nothing connected. So one thing I have to show you also is the settings. Battery settings, you choose lithium. Uh, battery capacity is 100 AH. You can charge it. But I set it only at uh, 40 amperes. You activate battery and press this check if you're sure with the correct settings. Okay, escape. Sys grid settings. You should choose general and 20. 60 hertz and 61.5 maximum. Grid low is 58.5. That's all you need to set. Escape. System works. You stay with a zero export to load if you have battery. If, you, if it will be used as grid tie, use zero export to CT. So battery first means when solar is available, it will charge the battery first. Then load. Okay. Arrow down, so no more. So system works. Time of use. This means that the percentage means the battery percentage. It will, it will uh, uh, back to grid. So when it's eighty percent battery state of charge, it will switch back to grid 
So normally when there is a uh, enough power, enough solar, we increase the percentage. During night time, you decrease this one. So let's say at 80 at uh, let's say 9 o'clock, you put this at around 40%. So when it reaches 40% battery state of charge, it will switch to grid power. So it depends on you what you want. So grid charge, you set it if you want to charge it by a grid. So it either 10, 20, 30, it's up to you. So settings is separate under battery settings. Here, grid charge, 10 amperes. When it reaches 30%, uh, I think, I think so. But uh, it means that it will charge at, uh, at 10 amperes on, at a specific time where you set at system works. Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching. So please like, subscribe to my channel and hope you like my video. Thank you.